This video is about how to do a fixed deposit of 1 lakh rupees through SBI net banking. For that, login into your SBI net banking dashboard. After login, the home page will look like this. On the menu bar, click on deposits and investment. Now click on deposit, the first option. When you click on deposit, this page will open. Now again click on fixed deposit, ETDR or ESTDR. Now again click on the first option, fixed deposit where PAN is updated with bank. Select this fixed deposit option and now click on proceed. Here you have to select the debit account. I have two OD accounts. That's why here it is showing two OD accounts. But most of the times, if you don't have any OD accounts, you will see only the savings account. Now select the savings account. After selecting the savings account, enter the amount which you want to do the fixed deposit. Here I am doing a fixed deposit of 1 lakh rupees. So I am entering 1 lakh rupees. After entering the amount, select the term deposit option. Here we have to select the STDR that means cumulative interest paid at maturity. By using this option, both the investment amount and the interest amount will be paid to your savings bank account at the time of the maturity. If you select TDR option, here the interest will be paid at selected intervals. That means you can get the interest amount every month or quarterly. But I recommend you to select the option STDR. If you are a senior citizen and want to get the monthly interest amount or quarterly interest amount then you can select tdr option but most of the times stdr cumulative interest paid at maturity option is better now select the tenure of the deposit here select years and enter the number of years you want to invest i am investing for 10 years so select 10 years here if you want to invest for only five years select five if you want to add months and days you can add those details as well here you can see three options first option is auto renew principal and interest if you select this option, both the principal amount of 1 lakh rupees and whatever the amount you invest plus the interest amount will again turn into the fixed deposit after the maturity period. If you select the next option, auto renew principal and repay interest. If you select the second option, the principal amount which you have invested, here I am investing 1 lakh rupees. This 1 lakh rupees after the maturity date will again turn into the fixed deposit and the interest amount which I got during these 10 years will be credited to my savings account. That amount I can withdraw. If I select the third option, repay principal and interest, both the principal amount and the interest amount will be credited to my savings bank account which I can withdraw or I can again do the fixed deposit. I am selecting the third option. Most of the times it is better to select the third option so that you will have the freedom whether to withdraw that amount or to do the fixed deposit again. Now accept the terms and conditions. Now click on submit. Once you click on submit, you can see the summary. Here you can see the amount which you are investing as a fixed deposit. Here the amount is 1 lakh rupees and the type of deposit is ESTDR cumulative. The tenure is 10 years. And here you can see the interest rate. It is 6.5%. After the maturity, the amount will become 190,556 rupees. That means I will get 90,000 rupees as an interest. And the maturity date is 15-10-2034. It is 10 years. Once you check all these details, now what you have to do is you have to select the nominee. If you want to have the same nominee which you have for your savings bank account, select the map debit account nominee. If you want to add a new nominee, select register a new nominee option and you have to enter the nominee details. And if you do not want to have any nominee, select I do not want to map a nominee. I am selecting map debit account nominee. Now click on confirm. That's it. The fixed deposit was completed successfully. Here you can see your request for a new STDR is created on here you can see the date. If you want to save the transaction number, you can save the transaction reference number. So like this, you can do fixed deposit online through SBI net banking. If you still have any doubts, ask those doubts in below comment section.